Hey there guys and welcome to another episode of the Great British Bad Gamers Maker Law. Hopefully you guys will enjoy this. This is the fourth time I've recorded the audio because audacity is being not an appropriate word. So, at the moment there's been a few changes with ideas and plans and stuff. These episodes have taken longer to actually throw out there than we thought. Being at 10 to 15 minutes at a time is actually really taking it out of me where I work overtime at the moment and I'm actually trying to get a second job at the same time in a profession that I really like. So being a freelance web designer and working as IT is actually really dragging it out of me. However, I still really enjoy building in Minecraft and this is something that I can't really give up. So hopefully I'll be able to keep doing these videos but from now on we're actually going to be planning on doing them shorter. So if we do a house we'll do a build in the house. If we do the map design and stuff using world painter we'll do that separately in a different video. Hopefully that means there will be more content for you guys and I won't actually be pumping them out once a month which takes forever. So back onto schedule. Uh, this is the actual tree that we started building in the human village and the main reason we built the tree is because it represents everything that the humans believe in. They believe in life, death, uh, living with nature, being natural, they don't want any of that fancy dragons, they don't want magic, they don't want anything like that. The humans are just a normal race that wants to keep living and as of and obviously they just want to keep surviving so the main reason we built the tree is because it's their icon it's their emblem and having a giant tree somewhere in the village would have looked really nice and me and Kane had a few chats about this this was going to be the garden area with the fountain but we changed things as you'll see later um, and I'm actually going to do a tutorial in the future like an in-depth one about how I did the giant tree but I'm going to build an even bigger one an even better one I'm going to build one that you could probably build a whole village inside fingers crossed so for this I started off with, this, with a cylinder and yeah cylinder and the main reason I did this is because I could use the smooth tool to shape it down a bit and use that as a base. The main reason I did this to get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger was because then you could use it as a mould and just shape around it. Using the brush tool with the sphere of five and normal logs I was able to implement this kind of shroom shape which you, if you think about a normal conventional tree it kind of is in some sense unless it just spikes out from the sides then I'm just talking complete lies maybe it's just me but most of the minecraft trees are pretty much similar to this and we wanted to make this kind of style but bigger and I was gonna put snow and stuff on it but then I kinda of thought I'd be doing Game of Thrones anyway as you can see I've used the brush tool to build round the cylinder and I've actually filled it out quite a lot at the moment you can't really see it but I'm going around the top and I'm smoothing it out so the tool that I use now in World Edit allows you to randomize between any different material that you want in percentages. The best thing about this is you can actually go above 100%, which is quite weird because then I could do 50% log, 50% coal, and then 50% water. The main reason I did logs and bushes is because if you have just the bushes on their own, they just fall apart and they vanish into air. And this obviously I put them down manually, bit by bit, which I really don't want to do because that's a lot of hard work. And I then actually just added the lights because one, it looked really, really nice in the night time. And two, if you have it down the tree stump and stuff at night, the whole tree glowing is just something I never thought I'd be able to make in Minecraft. And I'm going to get the shaders pack and mess around with this because it looks amazing. So next up we actually start building the gardens and this is where the tree actually comes into the area that it should come into. So I built the tree over in the main village area but Kane said that we shouldn't really keep it there mainly because it doesn't actually make sense. The village isn't really royal enough to have the tree and the main reason we decided to move it over here is because we could put it on a podium inside the royal garden which is just leading up to the castle and this would be a great way of making people like royal family or anything like that from different races come in make them feel really welcome like they're allowed to see the tree they're allowed to be there in the presence of something that the humans really worship so now we're actually building the wall the fortifications getting the, the right measurements messing around with it and Kane's telling me while I'm in the middle of this hole if it's actually tall enough and we were thinking about adding some wooden beams in it but that's something that we'll maybe do in the future because we don't know how well it will look but there will definitely sometime in the future be cremulations inside this wall because although it looks pretty cool surrounding the tree I don't think it's detailed enough to be up there with the city wall and everything else so now we actually start building back towards the village again we're trying to get this whole visualizing part out of the way and then do the minor details so we know what's going on in the background what's going in the foreground and what's happening at that spot 
So this is actually the lead up. This is where the guards will be pro uh, patrolling, as you can see where that circular bit is, and this is the uh, two walkways. And now there's the big guard towers. This is where the main hub of the security is going to be. So from here we'll have two big towers that people can come here, watch from. And by having the wall up there, we can make that part of the security as well. By having the little bits at the top of the wall, we'll be able to make it so it's a walkway that the security can look down and make sure that nothing is going wrong. Because with having a big ass tree there, you can't really see everything that's going to be there realistically. And I know this is a lore episode and it's not supposed to be realistic, but we want to some kind of understandable... understandable motive if something ever did go wrong in the stories. Thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry this episode's taken forever. Uh, but as I've said, we're going to be doing shorter episodes now. So if there's a big build, we're going to do an episode just on that building. Uh, if there's something that you guys want to know, like tutorials and stuff, I'll get them out of the way. I'm also going to be releasing a tutorial on how I record and how to minimalize the recording space that you have. And to be honest, if you've got an okay microphone and use some of these tutorials, I'll be able to show you how to change a £2.50 microphone or like a $4 microphone into something that's somewhat respectable. I mean, it's not going to be a Blue Yeti, but it'll it'll do for your beginning channel. Um, so thank you guys for watching. I uh, hope you enjoy it. Please, please, please subscribe or comment or like or something because knowing that you guys like and watch this video really gets us wanting to make more. Uh, the last episode actually received lots and lots of good feedback and so did the episode before that and since renaming it we've noticed that people are actually getting along with the idea better uh thank you again for watching and i'll see you guys later